So these two photographs, we saw the fabrics. Huh? Yeah. So what's, what's the difference between these two the photographs? The difference is the light's in a different place and it's moving the chair around to see how the patterns look better through. And this is the one that... So I the movement of the chair shows the flow. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because I've got a multiple exposure on this chair. Mm. There's a blouse on that chair, mm -hmm. and it was to try and show the lace of the blouse by turning it towards the window. There was more texture, more detail. Yeah, uh, move around the window, we can see more texture. That's huh? right. Yes. Mm. Um, so this is the one I use for the associateship. Mm -hmm. This is the, the one I put in. I chose this one. Mm. I th thought this one was a little bit distracting there. So this is a new one, huh? It's just another one that I printed. It, they were both taken at the same time. Mm -hmm. And this is the one I, I chose. Yes. Cause I, and I also, I, I like just the, to show where the light was coming from mm. using that window. Mm -hmm. But, um, and this one shows, um, the floor. I think, yeah. The I slab, think, huh? Yeah. More clearly. There's more texture. Yeah. I think it's just sort of within, when you, you just have one window, um, just in a very short space of time, the way the light comes round, the way the sun comes round, there's all different possibilities within minutes. The different texture on the floor, it, you know, it shows quite clearly there what a difference it makes, just a, a small amount of time mm -hmm. to the light. Okay. So that was the more successful, I would say, <laughs> for that one. Yeah. Um, this is uh, another one. Um, we saw a frame yes. here. Yes, yes. So you make some retaking? Yes, I took this photograph here. Um, then I cut around the photograph and cut around here. Then I place that onto another piece of paper, a white piece of paper, then onto a black piece of paper and then re-photographed the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's why this one is slightly more contrasty yes. than the others because of the, the re-photographing. You did a lot more work, sir, just because of the frame or yes, just because of this? Because I wanted to get this hanging out of the frame. Mm. So it was half in the picture, half out. Mm. So what this mean? It's the same idea that it could be taken out of the picture. Mm. It could be, there's that movement that, attention I suppose, probably mm. attention in the picture that it could be. So out of the space. That's right. This one, I've just introducing different ideas. This is when I was saying to you about going off one way and yeah. you know, having to pull back. And so you make it, uh, you make the story pull back. Slightly, to, <laughs> to bring it back for the associateship. Mm -hmm. um, I know with the associateship it, it is exactly, they're your photographs and you have to do them the way you want to do them, but there are not rules, but they do say they have to be coherent mm -hmm. and read as 15 photographs. Mm -hmm. So that's always in mind. It's almost like a brief. Um, so things like this, mm. I've introduced it there, mm. but it's something that I want to work on more. Mm -hmm. um, I spent the same as the floors, the way the floors move, the patterns, go backwards and forwards. I think by using this, maybe closer up, um, is it a room or isn't a room? Which is the model? Which isn't the model? So it's just just a bit thought-provoking. It, it makes it a little bit harder to look at. People have to look a bit harder mm -hmm. to see it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, these two models, of course, make the picture the, yes. more balanced. That's uh, right, yeah. It also introduced two more stories there inside this picture. What we saw is only a portion of the room. That's right, yeah. These two 
makes the projection of other corners of the room. That's right, yes, wow. yes. We see another side of the window, we see people stare. That's right, yes. You it's, told us, right. you are afraid of people. And she's and, easy, There's, she's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I know, these figures are only come from my book. You cut it out. Cut it out. Yes, it's the, um, the front cover of, uh, of a, a book on photographs by Belloc. Mm -hmm. It gives more interest yes. of the photograph. Yes, you're sort of, rather than just looking at the centre of the picture, you're going round and comparing one bit to the other. Mm. Yeah. You use uh, four by five. Yes, yeah. And um, I think um, the best advantage of four by five is um, more and more details. Yes. Because bigger negative. Yes. In this picture, I see a, a lot of texture. Yes. Uh, from the glass um, to the fabric. Yes. I, I really Can you tell us more? Well, I really wanted to get this I mean, it sounds silly, but it's just a tablecloth, but I like the pattern in it, mm -hmm. and I wanted a light damask, you know, the, a nice white tablecloth and mm. with the creases in and the pattern. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just something nice about it, you know, when your hands are on it and you're feeling it and you're about to have a nice meal or you're talking to somebody. And it, it, to me, it's quite important. And, mm -hmm. and I wanted to show the pattern in this one, the, the geometric pattern and just with the light this side it's at this time of day which I think was probably maybe about four o'clock in the afternoon yes. to go straight across there um, I just like the way it's picked it all up and I think I've got it all in there all the detail mm -hmm. even in the very lightest bits mm -hmm. and also the other thing about doing daylight, you are governed by the time of day. Yes. You know, and it's quite nice, isn't uh -huh. it? You, know, you, you say, need to catch the time. Yeah. And you sort of think, right, it, 20 minutes, I'll just have a cup of tea, <laughs> and then it'll be round. Uh -huh. Yeah. The light will come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The worst thing is when the light's right, and then the cloud goes across it. <laughs> but it's the same for landscape, though, isn't it? Um, this picture, we see screens there, we yes. see clothing hang on the screen. Yes. What this mean? There again, it's still this hangers of shoulders. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all about the feeling of people. Spe people there. People there, but not there. Uh -huh. um, and also, screens are dividers. They stop us seeing things, or they hide things, they cover things up. and instinctive. I'm quite nosy, so if there's a screen, I want to know what's on the other side. So for this one, I did a, a multiple exposure. The chair mm -hmm. was on the other side. Mm -hmm. So I photographed the chair. Then for the next exposure, I placed the screen in front. Yes. But because it's a white jacket against a black wall, the jacket stayed Comes there. Ah. It stayed there. Ah. So the chair is behind that screen, yeah. <laughs>